What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Welcome back. It is Thursday, August 4th, and today feels like a Friday to me. You know what that means. <laughs> a little sick day in the works for tomorrow. I'm feeling it. I think everyone should be feeling it too. It's the old 24-hour flu, folks, and it's about to hit Ripple Van Winkle because he's looking at a three-day weekend ahead. And he's looking at about, about another five to seven days off two weeks from now. Why not? That is the question you should be asking yourself. But in all seriousness, let's talk about what we're about to talk about. Let's talk about a liquidity crisis that might be coming, that might be here, might be amongst us right now. We're going to hear a short clip. We're going to go over, we're going to review it, then we're going to talk about the role of XRP. The role, the position, how has, it has been set up and defined, dating all the way back to about 2017, and how we have come to a point where I feel like we are at this certain breaking point where XRP is either going to step out of its shell and completely take over this crypto space, or we're going to see something bigger at play come in hand in hand. How about the IMF? A big statement, a very almost riddle-like confusion. I don't even know how to label it. But the IMF is stating that many countries are going to require a debt restructuring restructure and might require a payoff. What does that even mean? We're going to talk about that too. And in Lux Lions, the Oasis, we got a new form back up. Credit cards are live. You get invoice. We send it to you. You pay. Uh, if you're not part of this Oasis, I don't know what you're doing. It is going to be the biggest metaverse out there. We have a major partnership. We are just waiting to get a couple of signatures back. And we're going to get this partnership announced hopefully tomorrow. This one is going to blow both of these projects out of the water. People are going to come rushing in. Listen, I'm telling you, this island is going to sell out. You're going to see what we call the old trickle-down effect. You're going to see Lux Lions announce a partner. You're going to see Lux Lions announce another partner, another partner, another partner. They're going to keep coming. Everyone's going to benefit that's on the island early. And the next thing you know, you're going to get a message from me saying there's only about five plots of land available. You better get in now. I will show you the form. I will link it below, folks. If you're not involved in the metaverse, if you think it's silly, I'm going to tell you one thing before we get going here. When Decentraland started selling their land, it was selling for $50 a plot of land. It is now selling for four to $5,000 per land. That is the value that was brought to that, to that ecosystem. And those were the early days. We are talking about Aftermath Islands, Unreal Engine 5, the co-creator of Deadpool 2, ties in. With Ruth McCartney, who's Paul McCartney's sister, tie-ins with Vegas Islands. You will have access to all of these different islands through my metaverse. You need to get your land, and it's still super cheap. Don't make me jack the price back up, folks, because you know I'm known for doing that. Now let's head over to Live Coin Watch because we got to look at the markets like we do each and every day. What are we seeing? Well, we're seeing red. I don't like red. I definitely don't like red in the mornings. It bothers me. I like my coffee black. Total cryptocurrency mark caps above a trillion, coming in at 1 trillion, 84 billion. Bitcoin dominance dropped just a tiny bit, but nothing to get us too excited. 40.32%. Bitcoin is coming at $22,887. It's down about 2.5%. Ethereum's hovering above $1,600. It's down about 2.66%. As our beloved XRP is down 1.88%, coming in at 36 cents. It wants to be 37 cents so bad. We are seeing that the Binance US stablecoin is back above its dollar peg. USDC is under its dollar peg, and Tether is sitting pretty at a dollar. Folks, where do we go? from here i think we got to push up i think we pushed 25 27 000. we just seen a bunch of tether minted where is that money going to be used most likely to prop up the price of bitcoin i think we get a little a little push up bring back some positive vibes into community because they have been negative and very flat and then i think we head back down now when we talk about lux lines here you go listen this isn't what the oasis is going to look like don't tell me that it doesn't look good this is just a mock-up a little drawing for the website it's all this is this thing is being built on unreal engine 5 some of the best graphics that you are going to get out there they are high def i'm going to actually show you a clip of a little gameplay now here is the form this is the form that you will be receiving we just put this out yesterday you will get this form you will fill this form out we will send you an invoice and then you will pay your invoice it is that easy folks and now we head over to here here is some gameplay action watch this this was put together by aftermath look at that soccer stadium look at the look at the graphics here look at this 
facial pixel streaming and listen i want to bring this pixel streaming into you because a lot of people come to me oh van winkle do i need this crazy setup no because the company we're doing it with did it right they are taking on all of the streaming on their cloud servers they will be streaming everything and rendering everything on their end all you need is a device that can connect to the internet, a 10-year-old computer, a five-year-old computer. You can even connect to a metaverse through your cell phone. You're not going to see many companies do this. Why? Because it's very expensive. But I told you who, we're in, who we didn't deal with. Pay attention, folks. And then Rob puts this out. During the World Government Summit, Christina Georgevina, the managing director of the International Monetary Fund, states many countries will require debt restructuring and potential write-offs. Listen. Do you believe there will have to be debt write-offs whether through the paris club or the london club we're getting to a point where the debt burden is so large that these that the, the, the it's just gonna have to be written off for for some countries there will have to be very deep that restructuring that includes that haircut yes for many countries, it would be a matter of that reprofiling, just making it so that it is stretched over time, they can recover, they can pay it back. But the key issue here is, do we have sufficient capacity to do it? And unfortunately, the common framework for that resolution that the G20 embraced in 2020 has been still slow to deliver outcomes. Three countries asked for it. We haven't yet finished even one. On good path for Chad, on reasonably good path for Zambia. But hey, if we have 60% and only three in this restructuring, we have a problem. Why? I, I mean, mm -hmm. I know how the UN works, and I know the IMF has... You can move very fast when you want to. Yes, Ukraine and we a, do. Ukraine is a good example mm -hmm. of, of, of this. So as you now look to the next 12 months, mm -hmm. it's almost impossible to do this, isn't it? Because there's so many exogenous uncertainties. Yes. You just have got no idea. But what's your priority? Number one priority to clearly identify countries at highest risk and be ready for them. Very, very interesting comments coming out of the IMF requiring some debt restructure and potential write-offs. Who is going to be the savior? <clears throat> well, currency is going to be the savior is the better question here. Could this finally be a shift where we start talking about bringing a digital asset into a basket of currencies time will tell folks now let's get into liquidity explained this is by ripple this is 2018 this is really what got me excited back in the day remember i was involved in 2017 ripple comes out of this article in 2018 talking about liquidity this is important stay with me on this because this is going to tie into where we are going with this liquidity crisis since for routine domestic transfers like a debt credit a, de a debit card purchase a paper check deposit liquidity is generally high because financial exchanges don't Normally execute a single currency but when you ask this, when you assess liquidity for international cross-border the oil begins to thins and performance breaks down why because you look and introduce one currency for another it introduces a price and time variance that could impact pricing on each side of the exchange and no one wants to lose right price goes up someone's going to lose price goes down someone is going to lose so what do we come out with well <clears throat> the stability of the transaction therefore the liquidity and their increased risk and cost ripple goes on to state that digital assets can be used to lower the cost and improve the speed of liquidity for cross-border transactions especially in new emerging markets to be successful a digital assets must be designed to settle transactions quickly for example bitcoin great store of value poorly suited for a transaction because they can only do 16 transactions per second folks me and you can get everyone into a room and we can break the network we can clog it up if we all do a bitcoin transaction all at the same time think about that for a second by contrast a digital asset like xrp settles in mere three set a mere seconds excuse me and can handle 1500 tps as a throughput on power of visa and other card work networks this is because xrp was created specifically for enterprise 
use to provide liquidity for international transactions. So you can see they're setting the stage here, XRP, you know, back in the day it was called X Rapid. Now they just got the one product suite, they push it out. And what are they looking to do? Provide liquidity for cross border payments. Well, it leads us into this clip from Greg Moreno talking about and another warning from him about a liquidity crisis that might be on the way. Listen. We, you and I, the greatest thing or the greatest uh, danger that lies in our path here is a liquidity lockup. You know that, I've covered it a million times, a freezing up of the entire system. Now, why would that happen? Well, the system itself is insolvent. It's insolvent. It operates on a debt-based model. Without more debt being created out of thin air, without central banks doing their thing, colluding with perverted governments to create reasons to pull cash into the now, crisis to crisis, expanding of wars, buying debt. This whole system is just over, okay? So the system is insolvent, that we can establish, okay? Now, what is going on here is some kind of yield curve, debt market management, obviously. Debt market management, well, that's been going on since the last meltdown here. Central banks buying it all, period, the end. Now, these gyrations that we're seeing here, and it's getting mainstream media attention here, uh, yes, it is dangerous. There's no doubt about it. And these, these, these cycles that we're seeing, um, to me, appears very obvious that this is the action of central banks trying to keep the debt market stabilized. Do you understand? And the only way they can do this is by creating cash out of thin air, adding digits to a screen in any amount they want, and getting into the market and buying the debt. Central banks, people, you know this better than anybody on the freaking planet. Despite what you what people might think, they're not magical. They don't have any powers. For Listen, this is a very smart guy. Everything he's talking about leads us back to XRP and what it was actually built for. <clears throat> liquidity, cross-border transactions, and bring that additional liquidity to the markets. What is this going to solve? Well, hopefully it will solve them from stop to print extra zeros on the books. And then this reminds me, Mark Phillips, <clears throat> excuse me, back in 2019, put this article out where he talked about XRP will be a world reserve currency. And he talked about how the U.S. debt was growing and all the world's debt and talk about the federal reserve and how you can introduce a new reserve currency and how xrp was perfectly positioned for it because it can provide liquidity for the foreign exchange reserves i mean look at the world economy folks <clears throat> sooner or later something has to give xrp has been around for quite some time and has not been dethroned out of the top 10 despite all the fud the tactics everything going against it, and we see all the building and the adoption around the world I firmly do believe there is a bigger, there is a bigger agenda at play for XRP as a whole. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't have it in my throat. I'm gonna leave it there. A lot of interesting times ahead of us. Get to the Lux Lines Oasis. I'll link that form below. Fill it out. Let's get you paid. Let's get you some land. We got the map coming out soon. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind of each other. Ripple Fan Winkle is out.